Yeah. Roger Bernardina and Michael Morris teaming up to tie this game after the Cubs got the lead in the top of the eight. Henry Rodriguez against Giovanni Soto. Fastball outside third and 97. Game starting to go final now. The early games. Florida shut out the Astros 5 zip. Off the glove of Ryan Zimmerman. Lead off man on. Now we'll see if Tony Campana potentially the pinch run in this spot. We'll see. That's a hit. 14 for the Cubs tonight. sure why uh, Zimmerman was playing as shallow as he was at third base with Giovanni Soto at the plate. Hard ground ball just ate him up down there at third. Tony Campana will pinch hit for Sean Marshall after Marlon Bird. Personally, I would rather use Tony Campana as the pinch runner and then use Coy Hill as the pinch hitter because Coy Hill's going to have to come into the ball game anyway. Right now, I would prefer to have my best speed on the roster on base in a tie ball game in the ninth inning. Two and oh. It's going to be Carlos Marmol in the bottom of the ninth, even if we're tied. He's the only reliever up in the bullpen. That's a strike. Continue to run Giovanni Soto at first. You have to put down a great bunt to advance him to begin with. It wouldn't surprise me if Mike Quaddy turned it around and let Marlon Bird take a shot at it right here. Squares again, gets it down. Throw to second. Got him. They got him at second. Well, we know Rodriguez has a good arm because he throws 100, and he was able to get the lead man. Not a horrible bunt to the right side, but Rodriguez did not hesitate whatsoever. Turned around and fired to second base. Here's Campana. For the Nationals in their pen. This inning right now belongs to Rodriguez. Gave up a run, the go ahead run of the eighth. A bouncer to short. Let's take a hope for his run as Espinosa. 
tumbling over Marlon Bird, who was going to make sure they didn't even attempt to make that throw. Two down. If you're the runner at first, a ground ball to the left side of the infield, that second baseman is going to come across the bag onto the third base side. You see where Espinosa is positioned. If the ground ball's to the right side of the infield, the shortstop's going to come across the bag on the first base side of the bag at second base. So that time Marlon Bird went to where the second baseman was going to end up and was able to effectively take out Danny Espinosa. We'll see if Campana here will take off with Barney at the plate. There he goes. He'll be safe as the ball is dropped by the catcher Campana thinking about third but smartly holding there. Stolen base for Campana. Boy just a tremendous jump. No chance whatsoever for Ramos right there. Probably a good thing for him that he dropped that pitch. This would be just an enormous run to get for a lot of reasons, Bob. Because Mike Quaddy's going to use his closer in the bottom of the night, he's gambling a little bit that the Cubs are going to get a run the next couple of innings. If not, you could possibly see later with a lead a, a Chris Carpenter in a closing situation. I, I like this move. I, you'd hate. In a huge comeback like this to not even get to your best reliever even though you are on the road well and the other way to look at it is the Nationals will be at the bottom of their lineup uh, well at least the six hitter Ricky and Keel to right worth going after it he won't get there Campana scores Makes it 10 9. And now Marble will be in a safe spot in the bottom of the night. Third RBI for Barney tonight. Well, he's been one of the best Cubs hitters all season long with runners in scoring position. The thing about Darwin Barney facing a hard thrower like Rodriguez, he's not going to try to pull the ball. He's not going to try to swing as hard as Rodriguez throws. He's just going to try to get the barrel on and hit the ball somewhere, and that time found grass down in the right field corner for an RBI double. Sean Marshall now with a second opportunity to win. What a ball game. out it's Ryan Matthews getting ready quickly out in the Nationals bullpen Davey Johnson a little handcuffed tonight Bob because he's had so many late leads using his top guys First three nights of the series. It's a nice problem to have. 
having a lead late in the ball game, but it does put a little extra pressure on your top relievers down there. We have not seen Clifford, the All Star, or the closer scoring tonight. Over 40 pitches in the ball game now for Rodriguez. And evens it up at two and two. 15 hits for the Cubs, 13 for the Nationals. Cubs had four hits through five innings. They've scored in every inning since the sixth when they began this big comeback. Two two pitch Reed Johnson with a fly ball Bernadina in left center to end the inning. The runner at second, two outs. Darwin Barney shoots a double into the right field corner. Cubs have their second lead in as many innings. We'll see if Marble can close out the win. This is Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Jerry Newman with a policy question. Jerry, how are you doing? Fine. I've just got a little fender bender. Oh, Jerry, I'm so sorry. I would love to help, but remember you dropped us last month. Yeah, you know, it's funny. It only took 15 minutes to sign up with that new auto insurance company, but it's taken a lot longer to hear back. Is your car up a pole again? <laughs> I miss you, Jessica. Jerry, are you crying? No, I, I, I bit my tongue. Get to a better state. State Farm. At Dairy Queen, we don't stop at good enough. We don't just give you a chocolate blizzard. We give you the triple chocoholic blizzard. Rich truffles, choco chunks, and dark fudge. And we don't just have pinatas. We have pinatas filled with Mary Lou Retton. Because at Dairy Queen, good isn't good enough. You're smiling, aren't you? Uh-huh. The new triple chocoholic blizzard from Dairy Queen. So good, it's ridiculous. Carry on, you gazers, you grazers, you thieves, you spill-prone and thrill-prone and refusers to be fully grown. We get it. After all, Kenmore is in the lives of over 100 million Americans. That's why with 31 cubic feet, no fridge in America has more capacity. We put more in, so you get more out. Kenmore. hitting well over 300 with runners in scoring position and he came through again in the top of this night. Make it 10-9. Campana remains in the game and left for Reed Johnson and Carlos Marmel. Goes into the nine spot. Trying to save it for Sean Marshall. As the Cubs look to avoid the sweep. Did not look good. That's the understatement of the year when they were down eight to nothing. And as late as going into the top of the sixth. It's 
slider strike on Ankiel. Never easy. making his way to the plate. Uh, he's done a couple of sack bunts already this season. You would assume that's what Davey Johnson's going to do, but in this four-game series, I, I don't assume anything anymore. We apologize. We're having some video issues. We are working feverishly to rectify them. Yeah, it's got an awesome tool set. Got a Swiss Army knife. Wilson Ramos batting 10 9 Cubs. Rick Ankiel at first. Nobody out in the throw to first. Ankiel back. Pena holding on Ankiel at first. Ramos facing Marmel for the first time in his career. Ramirez pulled in at third. Double play depth up the middle. Everybody back guarding against him. An extra base hit in the outfield. Ramos squared the butt, then took a fastball for a strike. Strength video wise. The butt goes to Pena, and he thought about it. Instead of throw to Barney. Sacrifice point. Ramos has put down a couple of them. A game winner last night on a suicide squeeze, and potentially a pretty big one here tonight. Putting a tying run in scoring position. Couple of shots now. And Matt Stairs is going to bat for Ian Desmond. Here. Yeah, I, I think what Mike Watt is trying to say is that Castro should be the guy responsible for holding the runner at second base here. Uh, Matt Stairs, a dead pull hitter. You want Darwin Barney in his position on that right side of the infield. And step off by Marmel as Castro basically right behind Ankiel. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on a slider. You see more of those in this at bat. Well, that's a perfect location to that down and in, right where Matt Stairs likes it, and then the ball just disappeared. Low that time. On a slider, one ball, one strike. That gets by. Second one of the series for Carlos Marmol, and again a big one. Tying run 90 feet away and a 2 1 count. Now he needs a strikeout. It might be the single greatest pitch in the National League when he's commanding it, but. And he's scuffling with his control like he has been lately. That slider can really put Carlos into some deep jams. And the infield in. Two and one on stairs. Runner at third. One out. Cubs leading by one. The pitch. He popped it up. Over near third. Ramirez in foul territory. Two down. Very hit. 
hittable slider that time right in the middle of the plate. The best possible result for the Cubs, a pop-up, a harmless pop-up to the left side. And Ramirez makes the catch over near the third base coach's box. Lance Nix will pinch hit. Two outs in the bottom of the ninth. Low for ball one. Bernadina on deck. Three hits on the night for the Nationals leadoff man. Got a couple of bases open here. Two and oh. No strikes. The walk isn't the worst thing in the world. A wild pitch would be. So. Here it is. Outside ball four. First and third. Okay, now your corner men have to guard against the bun as Alex Cora is going to run for Knicks. Just take off over there at first base. He does not run that well at this stage of his career, but Carlos Marmol, as we know from past experience, is so focused on the hitter, sometimes he forgets about that runner. Or it did not run on that first one. Haney is holding him on. One strike to Bernardino. Slide as Carlos is thrown, one at the bottom of the zone, one to the back door. Cora runs and it's ball one, one and two. Not ideal for the Cubs because now base hit could win it for the Nationals, but Marmel's just focused on that batter, one and two to Bernardino. Here it is. Fly ball to right. Koske with a catch. Cubs win. What a comeback. Down 8 nothing going into the sixth. They gave up the lead in the eighth inning. But Darwin Barney wins it on a double in the top of the ninth. Marmel gets out of a major jam in the bottom of the inning. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> oh, man. So they get their first win on this trip. Piece of cake, right? 10-9, the final for D.C. Tonight, boys, I'll be the designated driver. Hey, 
the new guy is loaded with protein. Really? 25 grams of protein. What do we have? All four of us together? 24. He's low fat, too, and has five grams of sugars. I'll believe it when I know. Oh. What's shaking? Oops. As you get older, protein is an important part of staying active and strong. New Ensure High Protein. 50% of your daily value of protein, low fat, and 5 grams of sugars. See? He's a good egg. <laughs> new Ensure High Protein. Ensure. Nutrition in charge. Asbestos. Exposure to this deadly material can cause serious diseases like mesothelioma. Did you know that billions of dollars have been set aside to help victims of mesothelioma? Don't be left in the dark. Call now to find out if you qualify for financial compensation. It costs you nothing for us to investigate your claim. If you've been diagnosed with mesothelioma, call now for a free legal consultation. Don't wait. Your time to file a case may be limited. Call 1-800-890-4495. You could save a bundle with GEICO's multi-policy discount. GEICO, saving people money on more than just car insurance. GEICO, saving people money on more than just car insurance. Chicago Cubs baseball brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Pepsi Max, the official soft drink of Major League Baseball and your Chicago Cubs. Zero calories, maximum Pepsi taste. And by the Illinois Lottery. Play the Wheel of Fortune instant game from the Illinois Lottery for a chance at $250,000. Your totals tonight, the Cubs 10 runs, 15 hits, 3 errors, 8 left for the Nationals, 9 runs, 13 hits, no errors, 10 stranded. Winning pitcher, Sean Marshall, he's 5-2. and two. Henry Rodriguez takes the defeat, he's 3-2. and two. Carlos Marmo with an eventful ninth inning save, his 18th of the year. 3-31 the game time in front of 2016. Biggest Cubs comeback since 2008. And for the Nationals, this is the largest lead they've ever given up, going all the way back to 1969 when they were the Montreal Expos. Time now for our Budweiser player of the game is Darwin Barney. Big part of that six-run sixth with a two-run double. And then another double in the ninth inning. Bob, this was the game winner. Uh, and it was huge for Darwin Barney shooting that ball down the right field line. You never know who the star is going to be, Len. Darwin Barney hitting out of that eight spot in the lineup with three big base hits, three runs driven in, including the game winner. Great times are waiting. Grab some buds. Our next WGN broadcast of Cubs baseball Saturday, Cubs and the Pirates' second game of the three-game series. TBA for the Cubs are hoping it's Ryan Dempster. Kevin Correa already with 11 wins for the Pirates. 5.30 for a special 30-minute leadoff man. Final score tonight. Cubs come all the way back down 8-0. They beat the Nationals 10-9. Cubs baseball in high definition is brought to you by Xfinity only from Comcast. Stay tuned. The WGN News is next.